Hi, my name is Jasmine and I'm really excited because I am now 35 weeks and counting until I have me a new little baby. So I'm just really, really, really close to the end and I'm just so waiting to get rid of this stomach so that I can feel so much more relieved and free. The best thing about being pregnant is that, you know, guys particularly, they always just find it funny to come and rub your belly or call you baby mama. And you just get so many smiles from people. They always ask you how you feel. You know, they always offer you food, which can be good. The worst thing about pregnancy is that you can be completely sick in the beginning, which I was. I lost about 15 pounds. I was always throwing up. I just felt like an old woman and I could not get it together, but luckily I've caught my second wind and I just feel a whole lot better now. Surprisingly, my craving has been the same as it was in my first pregnancy, which is crawfish. There's this excellent place on Plano Road called Cajun Corner, and if you ever call my phone and I'm eating somewhere, that's probably where I am. You know what? I think I can show you better than I can tell you how good Cajun Corner is, so why don't y'all just go ahead and follow me? I love these and the baby is kicking and we're having a blast. I have to have it if I smell it, if I see it, if I just sense anything crawfish like I have to have it and I also have to have fried pickles, corn, and a big bottle of Coca-Cola. My theme is going to be the same theme I had with my first kid, which is the older Winnie the Pooh. So I'm going to go with the baby version, just to throw it off just a little bit, but I love Winnie the Pooh. No pink, no pink. I'm going to try to do more like um, neutral colors such as green, yellow, maybe a little blue. Throw pink a little in there, but you know, my fiance, he just got sick of the whole American way that girls always have to wear pink. Don't you like this outfit, Jonas? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I don't want pink anymore. Okay, okay. I Mr. need Jonathan. another color. Oh, okay. Use Jonathan. other colors. Then pick another outfit. Pink, uh-uh. No. Other outfits in it's not good. <laughs> I don't know what you are doing to our little girls. He's tired of seeing babies in pink shoes, pink bags, pink car seats, pink clothes, everything like that. He just doesn't want to see it. So we're just trying to stay, you know, neutral. My three and a half year old son, Cameron, he. Well, he was excited at first about the baby, but once he found out it was a girl, he was like, Mama, I don't want her to come out because I wanted a little brother. But I think he'll be okay because, you know, he has a stepsister who's about one and he's three and a half, so he kind of helps her out, you know, plays with her, tries to encourage her to come to his room and learn the ropes of being a kid. And he's not too rough with her, so I'm thinking, you know, when his little sister comes, he'll be all right. With my first kid, I had an epidural. They said, if you're not into pain, do the epidural because they opened the door and the woman that was next to me, she was having a natural and she was screaming her head off and I thought she was dying. But they were like, no, Miss Jemison, don't worry. She chose to go natural, you're getting the drugs so you don't have to worry about that. So if you don't like pain, again, doctor says it's best, get an epidural. We finally decided her name and it's gonna be Alexandria Brielle Niambura Delito. Never think this was 7.3 pounds at all, but it is and that's amazing to me. Yes, like I said before, if you can't deal with pain, then an epidural is definitely the answer because I was in tears before they were able to give me the next.